People's Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Johnson versus Lane. You have been together for two years. You're living together. And you have brought your boyfriend to court today because you believe he's cheating. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Before we get into that, tell me how you met this man. Well, I met Mr. Lane uh, downtown Las Vegas on Fremont Street. I just got off stage performing, and he approached me maybe five, ten minutes after I was off stage and said that he heard a female singer had just sang. I told him that it was me and that I had already performed. So we sparked a conversation, and from there, we formed a relationship quite quickly, actually. I left to go back to California. I packed up all my things, and I moved to Vegas, and we moved in together maybe three weeks after meeting. Wow. That was quick. That's like love at first sight, virtually. Yeah, yeah. for me, it was. OK, right, and it took you how long, Mr. Cutler, to ask me out? <laughs> A little longer than three weeks, but you, if... didn't, you didn't sing. <laughs> See, if, if you had sung, maybe, you know, it would have been if a little quicker. If I had quicker. sung, we wouldn't have got together, because, you uh -oh. know, I can't carry a tune in a bucket, <laughs> so, no. All right. Well, Miss Elaine, it had to be something more than this lady's lovely voice that got you interested. What was it that you saw in her? What I fell in love with was her creativity. Um, if my cup is half empty, she fills it up to the top. You know, she's very beautiful. She <laughs> brightens my morning anytime I'm running late. She just 100% has my back, absolutely. And so coming here, being accused of cheating is kind of funny to me because she knows I have her back the same way she has mine. So you're here to prove this to your lady love. Yes. All right. What happened in the past to destroy the trust you had? Well, um, we started arguing a little bit over a few months of, you know, after living together. And at the end of 2015, he told me, after a heated argument, that he wanted to stay with his mom for three weeks. Maybe a few days after I'm thinking he, he's at his mom's house, he calls and tells me he's with an ex-girlfriend. And that... And that they had sex. And, um... <laughs> I just wasn't going to deal with it, so I packed my bags, and I ended up moving back to California. Why did you tell her you were going to be with your mom? Because her love for me was a little different than my love for her. Long story short is I could pretty much not use the restroom without her knocking on the door, I love you, baby. We had broken up officially, and so I went to the ex-girlfriend's house. I, you can't be any more clear than I don't want to be with you. Wait a minute. Wait. So she was smothering you with love? That's your complaint. That is my rebuttal to the situation, yes. Okay, note to foul. Do not smother Judge Cutler <laughs> with love. Okay, that, no, I don't... I, I, is that the takeaway from this? I don't think so. I, I mean, <laughs> it sounds to me like you wanted to play. Mm -hmm. Not that you were getting too much love, because that's a new one. Have, have you heard from the bench, I got too much love too from much this love. woman? No. Uh, so, is it, is it that you were smothered or that you wanted to go play? It was a combination of both. You know, All like right. she said, we had rushed into it. She had it in her mind that we were set as a couple. I repeatedly told her, along with friends and family member that had told her, he's not ready for a relationship. But, you know, I did move in after three weeks and he knew I was moving in. So, tell me about what that was like for you. It was very hurtful. I think that maybe I didn't fully consider everything that could have happened. I was thinking more with my heart. I did pack up everything and relocate to another state for this man, you know? Mm. And it, was, it wasn't the smartest decision, but I did it, and here we are. But clearly, something happened because you got back together and you're yeah. here. What did he say or do to get you to say, well, you okay, know, I'm gonna do this again? You know, I'm a creator, and he's creative, and we get together, and... I have a tendency to forget the bad times, you okay. know? And so, I just... I'm a, I'm a lover, you know what you I mean? You followed I, your heart. I did. I did, and I love him. I invited her back. At the beginning of this year, um, I said, I've got my own place. You're gorgeous, you're smart, you're beautiful, you've got yourself together. Come ride with me and let's turn it up. She sings r and B. I I I rap and produce. And so, with that being said, you know, it was absolute opportunity for us to grow together. You know, she's a phenomenal person. I wake up in the morning to prayers. I wake up in the morning to a freak. I'm happy with this woman. Wait a... Ho, ho, ho. You say what? <laughs> <laughs> you say you go to bed with prayers and wake up with a freak. Did I hear that come out your mouth? Absolutely. It's always the innocent, you know, baby face ones that pop <laughs> off like that. I would have well, never seen that coming. Well, there you have it. There be. There be. <laughs> All right. Tell me why you believe he's cheating now. Because he has been locking his phone. 
He has been starting arguments with me, in my opinion, to go outside to get on the phone to talk to coworkers. I have found some text messages between him and a friend of his, or a coworker, that have been very lovey-dovey, a little too friendly, in my opinion. Now, you submitted some of these messages. Yes. And your recollection of the text messages are from the other woman. Hey, babe, what are you doing today? And Ms. Elaine responded, looking forward to seeing you. Me too. That's right. Yeah. And then, I'll try to call you back later. She's around. <laughs> Talk to you soon. It's pretty clear what bothered you was... She's around. She's, She's around. around. If that doesn't look suspicious... Why I mean... can't you talk to this coworker when your girlfriend's around? Be honest, I don't have an answer for that one in particular. I don't think I sent that because that's not my character. I mean, to me personally, um, I'm not gonna say I 100% didn't. Have there been a time when you told your coworker or females, hey, I can't talk to you because my woman's around? I'm almost... I'm on the way home. I'll call you back because I'm on the way home. Okay, but here's the time. thing. You invited her back to you. And you're testifying that she's getting, basically, sound like on your nerves. Is that an accurate? Absolutely. Okay, how... Okay, but you're supposed to be in this committed relationship. Absolutely. And in a committed relationship, in order for us to grow together, we have to focus on growth and not things that would drive one or the other away. Do you want to be in a committed relationship? I love this woman. I'm rocking with her the same way she rocks with me. Okay, have you cheated on her? No, I've never cheated on her. Any time that I slept with somebody else or she's been with whoever she's been with, we were broken up. Ms. Johnson, are there any other women that you're concerned that he's being with? A few weeks ago, we got into an argument and he left. I followed him and I saw him at a bus stop with his coworker. Well, they got on the bus and left, and he texted me about five, ten minutes later saying that they were going to a naked pool party. I believe that he met her there, and he knew that he was gonna go with her. Mr. Yeah. Lane... Well, there's no yeah. way... There's... It's, it's, it's physically, literally impossible for me to be arguing with her and be on the phone with another woman saying, hey, get undressed, we're going to a naked pool party. But you were on your phone a lot texting. You already know... Okay, well, where are those? All right, so, Mr. Lane, so you're saying it's, it's just a coincidence that you ran into this coworker at the bus stop and both of you all go to a naked pool party. Yes, it was. Absolutely 100% okay. true. Do you always invite your coworkers to join you at a naked pool party? Because... Well, uh, hey, if it's a pretty woman, let's go. There's one coworker I would invite to a naked pool party. But it'd just be a private party. All right, Mr. Uh, Keller, stop flirting with me. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, okay. The bottom line is this. You believe mm -hmm. that he invited this coworker because they were having an affair. Yes. And you do you believe that at this naked pool party they got it on? I think it's a possibility, yes. Do you I think do. that they've had sex since the naked pool party? I think that that's a possibility. They so are very friendly. And I think that he started a fight with me that day so that he could storm off and meet her at the bus stop. <laughs> Have you okay. ever slept with this coworker? <laughs> no. Absolutely not. Mm-hmm. 100% no. All right. And then a week ago, he asked me if she could move in with us. <laughs> yeah. Because she has scorpions in her house. She okay, lives in... Okay, that's some kind yeah. of bold. I mean, that's just bold. Yeah. Absolutely. Did you say yes or no? Let I me said, get clear. hell no. <laughs> All right. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> no. Don't even think about it. <laughs> there is his side, there's her side, and then apparently there's the naked pool party co-worker side. Mm. And she's here right now. <laughs> Ron, would you escort the next witness in, yes, please? Yes, Your Honor. Ma'am. Would you state your name, please, for the court? My name is Lee Ann Derringer. Ms. Derringer, what is your relationship with Mr. Lane? Um, he's my co-worker, uh, ex-co-worker, and a uh, friend. Did you attend a naked pool party with Mr. Lane? I did, Your Honor. Okay, can you tell me how this came about? You know, I was coming home from a class, um, and literally, I saw him walking across the street, then he'd said, you know, they're fighting, but he's going to a naked pool party, and he's like, yeah, let's go. 
Had you seen Mr. Lane naked before this event? Not before the naked pool party, no. So what happened at this naked pool party? I like saying that. It's like a pool party. You have barbecue, couple naked volleyball games, and um... All right, so... All right, so, so wait a minute. Hold on, let me get this. You all <laughs> play naked volleyball. Mm -hmm. I, that is frightening to me. Uh -huh. <laughs> It's not yeah. frightening. It's so much splashing and bouncing going on yeah. that You're could be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, from what she described, I mean, you have barbecue, you have That's volleyball, thing to be worried you have, about. you know... You don't want something to fall on the grill that ain't supposed to be on the grill. Mm. Well, I mean, it sounds just like a regular party. Everybody's just there kind of hanging out. You know? <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Is that, wow. is that fair? Wow. That is correct, sir. The... Thank you. Mr. Cutler. Okay, I mean, just think of this court. Just think about it. No, I don't want to. About us all being naked. Naked couples court with the Cutlers? No, yes. no, no. Oh, okay. No. Let me just... All right. Er, 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 I'm scratching that out of my brain. I don't even want to think about that. Okay. Now, here's the, the question. Have you been intimate with Mr. Lane? Nope. Did you witness Mr. Lane being intimate with anyone at the party? No. Has he ever talked to you about being intimate with someone other than his girlfriend? No. So, Ms. Johnson, if you find out that Mr. Lane has been cheating, I'm out. I'm are gone. You, are you coming back if he asks? No, not this time. You're done? Not this time. Yeah, I'm done. I'm packing my stuff up and I'm going back to Cali. Now, when the results come in and you see for yourself right here, right now, then what? Then I'm gonna apologize. For a long time. I'm gonna apologize one time. One time. All, All right. right. To investigate this matter, the court has retained the services of licensed private investigator and certified polygraph examiner, Kendall Scholl. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Scholl into the courtroom? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Scholl, how are you? Good, Your Honor. Thank you. So, Mr. Scholl, what did you do to investigate in this case? We decided to put Mr. Lane to the test and see how he would react when placed in a room with an attractive female and hidden cameras. So what happened? After becoming comfortable with the undercover associate, Mr. Lane suggested that they hang out. And then he invited her to a special kind of party. Let's take a listen. So I say like, like around, I really would like to come to her Halloween. Does it Girl, happen? if you come out for Halloween, let me tell you right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even got to say nothing. Well... Yeah, as a matter of fact, let me pull it up and tell you when it is. Yes, yes, yes. So, do this. And you're on your putting fetish. I'm just trying to find out when it is. So, you invited somebody to a fetish ball? It's it is a it's not necessarily a fetish as in uh, leather whips and chains and stuff that you would get the image of by hearing the word. It's a Halloween party. Got your Halloween costume on. There's, I don't know. It's one of the biggest parties in the world. Why are you shaking your head? Because he's a mess. <laughs> he's a mess. He wants to have his cake and eat it too. And okay. All right, <laughs> Miss Johnson. Because you had concerns about his activity and about him being involved with other women, including possibly a co-worker, mm -hmm. we had him submit to a polygraph examination, and we have those results as well. Good. <laughs> Mr. Schull, you asked Mr. Lane, since getting back together with Ms. Johnson, have you had physical sexual contact or intercourse with Ms. Derringer? What was his response to that question? He answered, no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined he was being truthful. Okay. okay. You're smiling. Well, that makes me happy. But hold on, we have another question. You asked Mr. Lane, since getting back together, have you had physical sexual contact or intercourse with anyone other than Miss Johnson.
You asked Mr. Lane, since getting back together, have you had physical sexual contact or intercourse with anyone other than Ms. Johnson? What was his response? He said, no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful. Okay, okay. I interject. Oh, God. We don't have interjection, <laughs> but I'll let you make a comment. <laughs> Give me a hug. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Oh, whatever. Yada, yada. Whatever. Complete oh. none of that. Oh. I wrote him a little something. I wanted to know if I could sing it to him. All right. I'm sorry, yeah. baby. I apologize. Can't nobody do me quite like you. It's the little things that you do. I couldn't help but to fall for you. And this is what it feels like when I'm with you, you. Ooh, oh, ha, yeah. Ooh, oh, ha, yeah. You love me right, you treat me right, you know just what I that was lovely. <laughs> that is what this is all about, love. I think they're on the right track. They're together, they're both on one accord, they each know what they need to do and stop doing. They're ready to go. And as we say in this courtroom, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a good relationship. So the court is adjourned. Thank you.